see if I get a bass. Yep. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's what we want. That's what we want. Back on the brush pile. Oh, back on the fish. Oh. Yep. Look at this. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> There it is. So I'm gonna hit the spotlight feature. And that should hold us right here. There we go, there's the brush pile. So let's get some baits down, catch some fish. Wow, wow. Check that out. I didn't even have time to set the rod down. It's a bass. I mean, I just got the minnow down there. Sure. This is a four pound line, so. <laughs> All right, stay out of that brush pile. Sure. Bye bye. There he is. We got this guy. Uh-oh, you wanna grab this other rod here? Or do you got another bite? Oh no, I got two fish. Here, <laughs> here, grab one of these. You got it? <laughs> yeah, I think your rod just had a hit too. Nope, this is a big old speck as well. Oh my goodness. Nope. I thought I had a bass. It was so big. All right, here we go. Got him. You got one too, huh? Look at that, three big ones. Look at this. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Not so we got some minnows out on the bottom. A late October speckled perch starting to bite. We had some cooler evenings. Oh, nice speck. Good grief. Yep. He ain't bigger than mine. Come on now. Yeah. Are you good? That doctor you're going to today, is that an eye doctor? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need a minnow. I take that back. Your eyes must be fine because you got me the smallest minnow. I got a bass, yep. Man, we just killing the fish today, man. <laughs> Here we go. No, it's a bass. Ooh. All right, now what I'm gonna do is we got our brush pile right in front of us. I had to drop, I had to drop Ray off. And I'm coming back out here to this brush pile that I know we got. And uh, I know about where it is positioned uh, between these two docks here. And then what I'm gonna do is just kind of find it uh, and then use my trolling motor with the spot lock feature to stay on it. First thing I'm gonna put down is my wild shiner. Just got them on a kale hook, typical shiner hook. So I want this shiner 10 feet down. So here I've got about five foot of line. I'm gonna drop it. And then as soon as 
my line gets a little bit tight, I'm gonna come up another five feet and then there we go. Now I know that I'm about 10 feet off the bottom. I'm gonna loosen that drag way up. That way if something grabs it, it's not gonna pull the rod in the water. And all I gotta do at that point is uh, simply flip the bail, let the bass take line, tighten my drag while he's tight taking line, flip the bail back over and set the hook. So let's get some minnows down, down now. Uh-oh. Here we go. On the shiner rod, so I'm gonna tighten it up. Real tight. Set the hook. We got the bass off. Just like that. So there's the technique. Perfect right on top of the mouth. So I just flip the bell, let line, tighten the drag up. And there you go. All right, get another shiner on. So you're just taking this shiner, gonna hook him through the top lip, out the nostril. That way he can still open and close that bottom lip and breathe. Now for my minnow rig, I've just got a, a little bass casting sinker, something really light. I've got a little gold uh, wide gap light wire hook, which is perfect for spec. And you don't really set the hook in these guys. When you see that rod tip buried, you just pick up slow. And if you pick up slow and uh, you feel weight on the line, you got the fish, just start reeling. We'll let this down to the bottom till it stops. Reel it up a little bit. And that one's ready. <clears throat> okay. Just got a bite on this one. Oh, got a bite on this one. I got a fish on this one. What do we got? Oh yeah. Nice spec. That's what we want. Look at that. Nice slab. Crappie. Oh, just had another hit. Uh-oh. I've got a hit here. I've got a hit here. I've got a fish here. I think I've got a fish on this other rod. Another nice speck on this one. All right, let's see what I got here. I think I got a fish on this one. Yep, got a bass on this one. Well, there you go. There is a two speckled perch and a bass. Just about as quick as you can quick as you can go there now this hook people would say is a circle hook it's not a circle hook this is a kale hook good for shiner fishing for bass all right we have no baits in the water so let's see if we can remedy that got him uh oh get a bite on the other one too let's see if i can get this one in real quick my spec Oh, I pulled this one out. Dang. Almost had a twofer. Uh-oh, about to have a twofer. Got him. Got him. Two fish. Beautiful. Guy in that time. Yes. <laughs> Got him that time. Nice bass. So we're we're dirtying up the new Mako here <laughs> with a lot with some fish. We're having a good day here doing some freshwater fishing. 
got my two spec rods out the back here they're pretty long rods with light line and light drag so that the odds they're going to get pulled overboard is pretty slim but possible um, the goal is to put a rod holder right there and a rod holder right there that way i can have rods out the back with a little more confidence but so far uh, the new mako is doing great having a lot of fun today i just play with my gps still trying to figure it out now look over and the rod tip is buried but this this brings up a really good point about um spec fishing that i think is really really important to understand when you are crappie fishing if they're biting really good then you could use whatever i mean it just really hardly doesn't matter when i say whatever i mean like line weight you could use pretty much any line weight and you'll still you'll still catch them up really good um, however if they are a little finicky like they are right now they're biting a little slow actually the wind's not moving there's not a lot of boat movement sometimes the bike can slow down you need light line which is what this is and this rod is long and that tip is so soft that that speck can grab that minnow and start running and before he realizes he there's something wrong you see you got a bite so that's important because sometimes if you're using too stiff of a rod he can tell something's the matter and can let go before you get a chance to to hook him there he is Looks like I'm gonna get another one here. Got him. Two in a row. Ugh. Two in a row. I just made the mistake of not filming and I put this bait down there and I didn't even set the rod down and I caught one so let's see if we can do that again this time I'm filming so I'm gonna drop it down on the bottom look at this didn't even have a chance to set the rod down. That's crazy. Second fish in a row that just did that. Look at this. These are all really nice spec. Really nice. All right. Let's get another minnow on there. Let's try this again. I'm getting a bite already on this one. Boom. Just like that. Got a little heavier line on this one so I can swing the fish with this rod. But the other rod I've got only four pound. So I can't really swing them. This is a little bass. This All right. Got another bass. Let's see if he's there. Got that one. Oh yeah, that's a good one too. Yeah. That's a good one too, boy. Yeah. There we go. Got that bass. Well, I've been letting all the fish go today, but this one got it kind of deep, so I'm I don't waste fish. So I'm going to keep it and eat it. Two. We had a good day. We are throwing all these fish back, but I'm going to go ahead and keep this one because it ain't going to make it. All right, back on the brush pile. Oh, back on the fish. Oh, that's a good one. That must be. It's got to be a bass. <clears throat> oh, he was on the brush pile for a second there. Oh, it's just a speck. Huh. He was fighting mean. Fighting like he was huge. Last shiner. See if I get a bass. Yep. Uh-oh. 
Uh-oh, that's what we want. That's what we want. That's what we want. Last shiner, please be a big bass. Last shiner, he feels big. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> Last shiner. Biggest bass of the day. Nice. Nice. All right. Wow. Last shiner of the day. And we get the biggest bass. I mean, you know, he's not huge, but it's a good three pound fish. Gorgeous. Boom. Yes. All right, well, we got a few minnows left. Let's catch a few more speck on these minnows and call it a day. I wish I had more shiners though. All right, get off that. Ah, oh, crap. Another big fish. It's gonna wanna get me in that brush pile. I gotta keep him out. I gotta keep him out. No, that's another bass. It's a nice bass. Ah, here we go. Now he ate the jig. I have a little jig there that I had tipped with a minnow. He jumped on that. Thank you. I wonder if I can just uh, straight jig with no minnow. Let's try it. Yep, no minnow, <laughs> just straight jigging. Ah, that's funny. No minnow, just straight up jigging. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. No, get out of that brush pile, get out, get out, get out. See, look at this. <laughs> Another bass. This time, no minnow, just straight jigging. That's a nice one too. Boy, he inhaled it. 